is equal to one lakh thirty thousand minus twenty thousand. That is the vacancy rent. So finally, GAV comes to one lakh ten thousand. This is how the government has given the relief. If such thing happens, what to do? If in a, even if the expected, it might be one lakh forty thousand also. But I have given, I have taken a hypothetical example. Well, so that to show you that government gives relief. Please copy it down. The formula is important. The sum that I have solved is for your understanding. So, after calculating this GAV, just write actual rent WN one or WN two, whatever it is, actual rent, and in GAV put the amount from your directly. Say one lakh ten, one lakh ten thousand. Put the amount, and after that deduct municipal taxes. Then you will get net annual value deduct under section deduction under section twenty four. Will give you interest on. Now we'll learn interest on loan. How to calculate interest on loan? What is the threshold limit for this? And the time period you can get the interest on loan benefit. So let's start. Interest on loan. We all do agree. While taking a property, uh, the SEC takes takes loan. SEC takes loan from the financial institutions or bank for construction purpose or for renovation purpose. At times, the SEC might have a property, but if the property has become too old, and there are chances the property might collapse. So the there are repairs and renovation charges for that the SEC has taken the loan for that also the interest on that loan is also uh, also allowed as a deduction under section twenty four the head deduction under twenty under section twenty four so let's start you can get the deduction of interest on loan in all the three cases whether it is LOP DLOP SOP SOP this purpose is for this purpose is. Self occupied property. There are many person P S S C who are not so financially powerful, so they take the financial assistance from the financial institution to buy the property. So they are paying interest from their earnings. So it is going from their pro pocket. So to give relief to them, they have been given interest on loan deduction. Yeah, and such negative uh, such negative balance. Of income from house property will be set off and carry forward to the other heads and be deducted so that their income tax limit comes low and the and the tax calculation gets low and the tax calculated on it reduces. So interest on loan there are two heads: the let out and deemed let out, self occupied property. Let out property, deem let out property, self occupied property. Interest on loan, on let out property and deem let out property is unlimited. What do you mean by unlimited? See, see, take it like this. If the property which you have rented and you have taken loan on it, assume you have taken loan of loan of rupees. Loan of rupees ten lakhs, and on that the interest rate is ten percent per annum. So ten percent per annum, you will come to around one lakh. So you will get one lakh rupees as a total deduction under the head deduction under section twenty four. So the very simplest thing is this. There are the complicated thing is self occupied one because they are been. They are already in in a financial crisis. They have taken loan from the financial institution to buy a flat or a house property. So, so how to calculate the interest on loan on the on such assessments? I'll show you now. If the assessee has purchased or constructed the property purchased or constructed the property then there are two criterias 
if the loans are for a long term loans are also there say for 10 years 20 years so that's why the dates are given many people take 20 years loan if loan taken before one who 1999 then maximum rupees 30,000 per annum will be allowed as deduction how much only maximum 30,000 per annum will be allowed even if your interest is say 1 lakh rupees you will be only given the deduction of 30,000 that is the actual interest or the actual interest and the maximum whichever will be lower will be given as a deduction and if loan taken after 1 4 1999 then maximum of rupees 2 lakh per annum will be allowed as deduction are you getting this if the pro if the SSC has taken the loan from after 1499 say he has taken the loan on 30th June 1999 he has taken the long term loan of say 20 years so he is paying interest on it the, if the, the rate of interest is higher and the interest is is up is below 2 lakhs so he can take deduction below 2 lakhs if it is about 2 lakhs then he will only get deduction of 2 lakhs only say if the if the maximum interest is he is cal he, according to his calculation it is 2 lakh 50 thousand but he'll only get 2 lakhs per annum as deduction under section 24 repairs and renovation see what i told the SAC is having already a property but the property is about to collapse so it repairs and renovation is as good as construction from for him so for that also he has taken the loan from the financial institution so to get the benefit how the benefit will be provided to such SACs are given you repairs and renovation here there is no date limit like 1499 one after 1499 only a direct limit maximum rupees 30,000 per annum renovation means there are some SEC who have one flat and they renovate their year after two to three years just to change the look of their property for that purpose also they take the loan so only for this renovation and repairs only 30,000 per annum will be allowed so are you all getting this I want you all to please copy it down this is very important please pause the video and copy I hope you have copied. So you all remember municipal taxes I guess. GAV is deducted with municipal taxes and then we get NAV. What is municipal taxes? I have I have just said over there what is municipal taxes. Now I will give you in writing in theory what is municipal taxes. Municipal taxes are allowed as deduction only if it is paid only if it is paid if the municipal taxes as has accrued and you have not paid so it won't be deducted only if the SSC has paid only if the SSC has paid for the municipal taxes he will get deduction for it so therefore municipal taxes is allowed on paid basis 
Municipal taxes has various name in the question. Such various names will be given to you. Don't get panic. Just submit together or only if one or two is given then submit together if only one is given then take it as municipal taxes right municipal taxes in bracket you write the name which i am giving if such name appears in the question local tax water tax property tax house tax Says on municipal taxes, scavenging tax, scavenging tax. You have heard scavenging somewhere. Eagle is a scavenger. Scavenging means cleaning tax. Sewage tax. Sewage tax means the drainage, cleaning of the drainage by the government or the municipality, the BMC that we have in Mumbai. Such taxes have been collected from the house owners, so such taxes will be allowed as deduction. If, if say there are, if say the local tax comes to one thousand and the water tax is given three thousand in the question, just sum it together and deduct it as a municipal tax. And only if the house tax is given to you, say five thousand, just deduct five thousand from the GAV and you'll get NAV. After that, you have to do deduction under section twenty four. In that you have to calculate interest on loan if you have taken the property on interest. If it is let out property or deemed let out property, how much ever the interest you have incurred or you have paid to the financial institution will be allowed as deduction to you just because you are letting it out. And if you are an SOP, then such limit is given to you because you have not earned any income. You are just you are getting this benefit of uh, set off. so such limit is given the benefit is given just because you have not earned anything from the house property there is 